Hello racers, it's Bram again at Coast Outdoors and this is your weekly TNR recap. What is this, week three, I think? Yeah, week three. Uh, it was Lindsay's Loop this week. Uh, really fun to revisit that course. We did that last year and um, yeah, a fun course. I found it, I forgot how, it's not that it's punishing, but there's some good climbs in there and not a lot of recovery. And after the first one, I was like, oh, I feel great. And then you'd get a little bit of recovery and you're straight back into another climb. So I found it, um, it kept me on my toes. Uh, Cynthia and I skied the course together and I could hold her for the first two laps, but she cracked me on the third and it took everything in me to sort of just keep the pink jacket in sight that I couldn't reel her back in. But it was uh, interesting conditions. It was pretty sugary this week. So, you know, kind of hit and miss there, but we certainly had some nice skiing, so that was good. And it's awesome to have snow back in the forecast and to get some consolidated snow back on the trails that they can actually groom and um, looking forward to getting out while it looks like winter again. So that's excellent. Um, some good times this week, just like last week, pretty big, spread of times I think based on conditions and time of day that people were out um, the fastest one lap times for skate David Kovic totally sandbagging there because I know he was skiing the longer course so I think he just went and threw out a went and poached a poached a short lap there and then Rowan Brecher in the 3 to 12 age group category so congratulations Rowan with 11 minutes and 39 seconds so that's super fast and David's time on the one lap was eight minutes and 45. And then the fastest one lap classic times, Stephanie Jansen uh, for 13.01 and Afshin Ardalan for 19.41. Good job, guys. And then the three lap times, um, Skate, Michael Forbes at 26.19 and Julia Halinski at 27.44. And then the three lap classic times, Glenn Healy at 30.31. That was like basically what I did it in skate. So that's super fast. Good job, Glenn. Um, and then Teresa Dobson at 44.07. Congratulations, everybody. We had a ton of racers this week. Um, somewhere between 60 and 70. I forget off the top of my head, but it was in there. So uh, thank you everybody for signing up and for taking part. It's uh, always good to have these things back. Um, and to be racing again. So we have to admit that we screwed up maybe probably this week, not sure what happened, but we had asked, well, we had told you we were bringing back the excuses section in the results, um, which I'm sure everybody was saving up their best excuses because it's important to have those. Um, don't know what happened, but we did lose that section. So we don't have any for this week, um, which I know you were relying on. So our apologies there. But for this coming week, um, just so you get credited full marks for your excuses, you can leave those on our social media, um, on the recap videos, i.e. our Facebook or YouTube. Um, you can leave those there. And then that, like I said, that way we will credit you appropriately for said excuses. Um, this coming week, week four, we are back to our regular TNR route, um, which everybody should know off by heart by now. So one, two, or three laps, but we would certainly encourage everybody who feels like it to step up and do the three, especially we have some longer races coming up, so it'd be great to get some base miles in. So for those that are feeling like it, I would definitely uh, urge you to do three. Speaking of upcoming events, the PIAC is February 26th. Registration is open. Uh, make sure you get in there, super fun event. Um, In-person racing, 15, 25, or 50K. And then there is a virtual component as well if you can't make race day for that. This coming weekend, this Saturday, is the Cascade Cup in Manning Park. So if you're looking, if you've got nothing better to do and you feel like going for a long ski, it's that's also a great event. Um, so would definitely be worth checking out. I'm sure you can still get into that. I don't know that for a fact, but if you get on it right away, uh, you can probably still get in that for this weekend. And we sponsor that event as well. So there'll be some great Coast Outdoors prizing um, after the fact. 
Coming up for week five, we've got a video coming out shortly. Uh, Bob and Reed Carter put together a lap, so that's been filmed and will be coming out, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And then we've got a really interesting proposal for week six. Um, we're trying to just work out, iron out a couple details on that, but take a look at that course. It'll be some iteration of what's on the map. Um, so it could involve going up power line or going down power line. Not sure which is going to be more punishing, um, but we'll probably work with some version of that and we'll get a video together uh, for week six. So really, um, I know why everybody's here is not just to listen to me talk. Really, you're all doing this for the prizing. So a big thank you to all of our sponsors, which make uh, these events and all of the prizing possible. We couldn't do it without that support. Um, so getting right into it. So week three prizing goes to Tina Moberg Parker wins Organica Enhanced Collagen by Kobe Ball Hat and some super nice uh, base layer bottoms from Odlo. UF Wet Conditions Wax from Vouty, Nook Gift Card and OR Hat goes to Dominic Bircher. Congratulations. We have an awesome pair of KV Plus gloves and Mad Shoosh over boots to keep your toes warm. That goes to Kathy Hunchak. The coveted pound of Moja Espresso. Karen Nakagawa, congratulations. Youth prize this week, Solomon Buff, Solomon Took, and some sweet odd low base layer. That's going to Anya Weber Harding. The coveted bridge, beer, bridge brewing beer, which is not in hand yet, but it will be here shortly goes to Doug Pulleybank. Congratulations everybody. Thanks again for a fun week of racing and I look forward to watching the results come in for this coming week.